these um, historical specifics that may happen, right? It just doesn't seem like there's like much uh, much likelihood that what we call Stalinism or Maoism and so on, or those kinds of governments, I guess, that that will repeat itself uh, in the future, right? It's like the point is that I'm confident in saying, I guess, that most likely we're going to have some genuine socialist future, right? I, I see. That's what that's the claims that I'm actually like, um, I guess, more interested in. Yeah, I, I noticed oh. though you refused when I listened. I just went back and checked the recording. You refused to answer the question on command economy. So that's the first question command I asked economy? you was about. Yeah, so the first question I asked you was about class war, which you were very uncomfortable answering. You barely I answered that. Answer and then the second question I asked you was about command economy. So if you just – these are just two features of communism, definitive aspects of communism, replacing a free market economy with a command economy. Mm-hmm. So you know, if, you, if you support that, then you support you – know, the, these are really important elements of the definition of communism. Yeah, but it's just look right. like what, – what the fuck is – No, I think, I think you should talk to Trip about that. that that's like Trip's central focus. And studying communism, okay. studying you, you communism know, so, Look, I, I'm not saying so. Just, everyone here was insulting like, me, claiming I haven't read Karl was, Marx. Why, why would you you insulted me, claiming I don't know the meaning of communism, communism repeatedly. But you seem to really be unfamiliar with very why, simple why, elements why would of the you definition believe, of Why would you take those two things as being constitutive of socialism, right? Or communism? Communism. We're not talking about socialism. We're talking about communism. Well, so, then, yes, that, command that's economy. That's even... So, what are you talking look, about? If you don't it's support a command economy, you can say so. What are you talking okay. about? This guy... It is, it is like, even worse. Just, like, he has no clue what he's talking about. Further, right? he, he just, just doesn't. Know shit, right? you just got, Dude, yeah, this I'm, is just like being in a room full of Nazi apologists. It's ridiculous. It's just, you, you honestly don't... Do you not know what a command economy is? Or why is it's like important? Some, do, you know what a, do you know what a bukkake is? <laughs> Dude, look... Isaac, yeah, that's like you're hanging out with a really dumb crowd here, man. But this is just as dishonest as sitting around with a bunch of neo Nazis. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Dude, the political, the political what scientist what is asking you, you for definitions. Even if you're, even even if you're just a casual Isaac, socialist, Isaac, why Isaac. would it be hard for you to answer a question about class war and command economy? Why would I that did, be hard I did for you to answer your question? About class no, war. you didn't. I just watched, I just went back and watched the recording. I went back. And wh- I went back and told you, right, that what it meant for classes to be in conflict isn't that the whole duration of society or of that mode of production is going to be spent having war with another class. And I even told you, right, that in the specific case of co- socialism, it is, well, uh, it was pres- it is prescribed, I guess, right, that um, the first step that the proletarian uh, revolution may take is suppress the other class so that there is no class struggle anymore. No class war, right? So you're just like out of your league. You're just saying nonsense. Like, sorry, how how am I out of my league? What? I'm sorry. I asked you a very simple just, class I, question I asked, about I class you. war, and you think because I asked the I question in terms of in terms of proceeding with the conversation, proceeding with the debate, okay? That, that I'm I out of my. League. There's no evidence here whatsoever that I don't know what I'm I talking about. There's a lot of evidence. You don't know what you're talking about. Look, if you don't okay. support a you, command economy. That's okay, but you, there's no reason to pretend that's not part of the definition of communism. It absolutely What's, is. You said is, many times that it was ridiculous to that? claim Cambodia sorry, was communist. That? Look, like it's just nonsense, right? Like you made even completely what, like, false statements this, about this class is, war. Is, I can say you've never is, read Marx. Is, Have you read Marx? Even, you sound like you've never read what Karl Marx says about class war. This, this isn't even right. That's Why are you even being defensive of that? Why would this be answer? You ask a dentist about teeth, it's not hard for him to talk about teeth. I, I, I answered the question, you idiot. I'm just saying it's not communism. It couldn't be communism. Well, right? it, like the so, whole point, the whole point, right? So this, I, this, this is your whole like, philosophy. Is a no true Scotsman like third. This is like the third time I'm going to say this to you, right? It's like even like the, like the most basic layman on this topic, right? No. Communism, what communism is posited to be, right, is a classless, moneyless, stateless society that functions socialistically in, in economics, right? Now, give me one historical example that's moneyless, classless, stateless, and has a socialist economy. So you claim you've been in, in a political science, okay, you claim you've been in a political science department. The definition you just offered is not what you will find in a political science textbook or in an academic is. context. Of course it is. No, it's, no, it's not. Your definition... Is. All right, I'm going to finish my sentence. I'm going to finish my sentence. You done saying, of course it is? 
The definition you've offered is just as ridiculous as someone who supports the Islamic State saying that an Islamic State is by definition a paradise where there's none of this conflict, etc. And I other people would that. have to say, no, that's what? not what in the real world an Islamic what State is. That's not idiot, guys. What, what is this analogy? Oh, my God. So, look, guys, you're, so you are clinging to a no true Scotsman fallacy. It's a no true communist fallacy so that you can believe that this just is go a to, perfect. Just, do, like, just go to Wikipedia. So like, you can claim since, really obvious elements of Marxism like class war, since, since, class well, war and, like and the man economy now we're don't matter. Now we're the only thing that matters is your idealized yeah, notion look, of a worker's paradise. Shift there. That's just a subtle shift, right, where he was saying it was communism and now he's reverting it back to like just merely being Marxist or in the Marxist doctrine, right? Just like Google communism, right? Like go on fucking Wikipedia or something, go so, Google communism and, and show what it show like it just. Like, yeah, you, I think we like, really need to put where, on the where table. Did you study? What you, where did you study? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. But what, the claim that that's Ludwig, a de definition of political Ludwig, of communism. Political science. Isla, I'm, what, I'm, what is your I'm understanding of communism? I think this is really important just you know, to get the not, conversation moving. There's nothing there. She's, he thinks that it's the command economy. Well, what just let him answer. Idiot. What What is your understanding of communism? I just didn't see the name, Paul. Who should I address you as? Who's speaking? Praise. Uh, praise. Yeah, hi, praise. Yeah, I think it's been completely clear and completely consistent from the start of this conversation that in the same sense that I look at actually existing Muslim Islam. societies as examples of what a Muslim society is in the same Islam way that I look at. Okay. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed my answer to the question. The same way I learned from history on any other topic and the same way I'd look at real examples of societies that have abolished alcohol. I would look at societies that have abolished money and what happens with that. So yes, there are different specific points. There are those societies. societies. Well, those are those interpret yeah, that kind so of interpretation is strongly just it's it falls prey to people that are bad actors and will just accuse you like for example like people accusing sargon of akkad of being a nazi because he's you know right leaning like that's dishonest uh and i think you're going to find that what their argument is against your definition is that people are going to just accuse things of being communist without them right, actually right, right. But, fitting uh, a criteria but it, okay but it, it is also ridiculous what they actually said their own terms they accused me of a false equivocation by claiming that historical reality matters at all. So they were engaging in a no true Scotland. That's, uh, that's so, nonsense. Cambodia. Pol 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 Cambodia. It is a society that's self-identified as communist. No, the communist what you're saying is that you didn't distinguish Spanish. between communism and socialism. You're that's just the equivocation. I'm talking about communism only you're throughout the entire conversation. I have only been talking just, about communism. Not you're just equivocating. Why interrupt me now? If you wanted to know, the question was, what's the definition of communism that I use? And I said, I, I'm talking about historically real communism empirically, the same way I talk what, about what the, the definition or fascism or any other ideology is a historically real the, phenomenon. The, the definition if you ask, does Cambodia or does Cambodia not count as a communist society? They were. It's by the same token it you look at the Islamic State being an Islamic society. Right? It's just going to By the same token, to... these are people who took that book, took those principles, and tried to create a society based on those principles. They yeah. identified yeah. themselves as communists. Okay, it's not okay. so that's that the I'm word. pointing that's a finger at them. No, no, no that's yeah, the key I know, point. But they just lied. All they did was lie and attack me. Okay, but just, 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 just so we're clear, just I'm, not, I'm not arguing right? against right? Just no, 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 clear. Right. Cambodia, the they reason... called themselves communists. Yes, just that's my second. Okay, just so... notice like the stupidity of what Muslims, the Islamic on, state, called on, Islamic. Go. Wait a second. Just, so the countries just, that just call wrong, themselves wrong. communist, is it's it fair to stupid. to acknowledge them as communist historically? It's like well, and, and the what, other what, factor there is the role of the Quran, so to speak, is the role of the sacred text. So it's not just that they call themselves communist; it's also that they're working from that text, the same text the other societies work from. So communist China, communist Cambodia, communist Russia, and even Cuba, they all – they didn't just call themselves communists. They also work from exactly the same corpus of sacred texts of principles. The comparison to Islam really does matter. It really is useful. And for them to dismiss this and to say that I'm insane, that I'm gaslighting, that I don't know what I'm talking about, there's a long list of ad homs, which nobody seems to object to. Okay. Uh, and they right. say that it's a false equivocation. Okay. No. It's of not course, a false yeah. Okay, no, that was good. No, you today was, rule no, Saudi Arabia. Eisen, 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 let them, let them respond to that because I think you it's, gave a good case. Just, oh my god, what the fuck? Why are you talking? Go ahead. Oh god, let, I want you to talk. Oh, okay. Let me talk. Okay. Um, look, the point is that it's obvious equivocation, right? And borderline, like, you know, saying something like, 
um, my definition of communism is Cambodia, and I use that fucking definition to gauge whether or not Cambodia is socialist or not, or some shit. It's fucking ridiculous, right? And it's obviously equivocating on what Marx, on what any other serious, serious Marxist would call social, uh, sorry, communism. It's just nonsense, right? So you would disagree with his assertion that... Of course. Okay, How, so... Look, look, it's just very simple, right? It's like a very well-accepted, widespread view in communist circles, right? And anyone who knows about communism, right? That what communism is, right, is a state of socialist development in which money, the state, and classes cease to exist, right? Now, if you want to make some imp- like empirical aspo where you show me societies that existed in the last fucking century that were stateless, moneyless, and classless, uh, yeah, that, that they have those properties, go ahead, but you're just like not going to be able to. It's just nonsense. So let, let's just make a friendly amendment here, uh, another comic record. What I am guilty of is not equivocation. I'm going to read you the English. You simply disagree with me. So why not be honest? Why not be reasonable and say, okay, why, you disagree why with me. Why is that not equivocation? Okay, let me read you. I'm going to tell you the meaning of the word equivocation, which you don't seem to know. Equivocation, quote, the use of ambiguous language to conceal the truth or avoid committing oneself. So no, uh, what I have said is not in any way equivocation. That's not, that's You've like, lied yeah. about many things, including that's, that. That's just, that's just equivocating on equivocation because you're so stupid, right? Like the point is that at what, every what, stage what you have been completely dishonest talk. in why, this debate. Why not, completely why dishonest. Why are you not letting me talk? Right. All that is meant by equivocation, right. right, is that we provided the meaning for a word that we are using, namely communism. It ex- explains complex, uh, sorry, concept X, right? And what you are doing is using the same word. And ignoring the meaning that we provided as being X and just said, no, communism is, communism is Y, right? Just ignoring all the academic... I didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't ignore anything. Yeah, of course the, you From the it. very first... You, haven't, I have a you just haven't even from read the... the very communism. first thing I said in the conversation, well, I was making an argument for empirical reality over chalkboard hypothetical reality. But you just, That's what, been, that has been my that only happen? argument. And I hate to tell you this, but I won... Because you yeah. utterly failed to oppose what's, or respond to that. The, what you engaged in was simply lying. That's it. I was like, you all know, you could do in response again, was lie. Again, right. You could make claims like again, Karl Marx right. doesn't support again, class right. war. Again, right? Like he's just over talking. You know. Look, uh, again, right? Like you were caught just equivocating while asking gotcha questions, and then leave, leave nowhere. You were able to concoct. The fact, again, just one the fact. Second, someone disagrees with you isn't equivocating. Me. That's not the meaning of the word. Of course. If I disagree with you, well, that's not an equivocation. Well, let me, let me, it's just an incorrect use of the English language. I, but, look, I have a, I, I'm completely clear in what I'm saying. I may be well, wrong. Well, you're allowed to say I'm incorrect. You disagree with me, but I'm not equivocating. Of course you're equivocating. Look, when you when you, I say something like communist Cambodia is, an, is in communist or something, right? And you say that it's absurd. It just means that you're not understanding what I mean by communist. It's obvious equivocation, right? Obvious. It is not equivocation, and it's not a failure to understand you. My my only premise I, I, I in this discussion, my only I mean thesis. I already told you what I mean by equivocation. Don't run from this, right? I just meant what what is meant is that I'm using a word a certain way, and that you're construing that word to mean something else, and acting as if I'm meaning that too, right? It's just nonsense, right? And well, so, besides, uh, the question besides, I've asked you besides, that you've no, never no, wanted no, to no, respond to. You're gonna let me talk, right? Um, no, I'm not. Besides that, I'm, I'm leaving because you, 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 you're completely the dishonest with the entire conversation. All you were able Wait. to concoct, right? Right. Don't was leave one yet. Week in the, in weak inductive inference that I had like surpassed in how convincing it was before the debate even started. You hey, just Young. Like, destroyed. I think this will this will be a good uh, ending question here. I just want to ask you, and you know, you guys can both talk about this. Um, if you were to hypothetically start a nation and you wanted it to be communist but it fell through could you still say that the intention was that it was to be communist that when if it failed well so if, i don't i don't think that's i think it's possible i guess but i don't think that was the case with stalin because i, I truly think that the intentions were not uh, heading towards communism basically at least for the bureau for the bureaucracy you know heisel do you have any response well, look my thesis Silence. Silence.
my thesis throughout this was just a thesis in favor of learning from real historical experience. But do you have I any think, response to what he said? Oh, how are the push-ups going? That, the that is the debate. That is all I've debated here. So, you know, to me, what he's saying in response, it is just as laughable as, as anyone else who's clinging to a, a no true Scotsman fallacy. If you want to know what happens, if you, if, you, if you make alcohol legal, if you want to know what happens when looking at uh, gun control legislation, for example, That's just or abortion legislation, any principle like this, my approach is to look at empirical reality, historical it's, experience. It's again, equivalent. But, let me but in say, the case of alcohol. Make, okay, but you can it's, make it's a completely equivocating. convincing abstract argument that alcohol ought to be illegal and society would be a better place if nobody drank alcohol. You can make an abstract argument about gun control or about gun liber letting everyone have a gun, making every person have a free gun or something. You can make those as abstract arguments on a chalkboard and they may seem convincing. My insistence is that we work from real historical examples. It's just equivocating. It is, it is that, very that's not going to help important. you with anything. It is right? very important that they refuse it's to do that. But but without a definition of prohibition, you, know, no, you don't know what no, the no, historical no, examples are. Like if I ask you what's a circle and you say the bottom of a soup can is a circle, the outline of the moon is a circle. But if we need to know about an egg and whether it's a circle, you didn't say – you know, it's a set of points equidistant from another point. So we're asking, what's the definition for you of communism? Because you didn't accept it. You're not using, you're equivocating on ours. But Bryn, you're lying. So Bryn, do you think you're telling the truth right now? Because it's on tape. <laughs> I mean, well, it's just, well, it's just very simple. The whole it's conversation. Just, I'll make just it even back more and simple. again what I said, and I'll, I do remember clearly. I mean, you guys lie I'll at I'll every stage. Even... Why is that? Just, just to, to be to clear, it, that that wasn't Bryn. I think that was who was that? Was that communist vegan McDonald's? Gizmo. No, that was Gizmo. Okay. Um, yeah, but that's that's communist vegan McDonald's. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. True. <laughs> um, well, but like the point is very easy, right? It's like I was asked, "Do you think Cambodia, for instance, is communist?" Right. It's obviously going to be relevant, right? What I mean by communism there for you to like get a satisfactory answer, right? And I've provided reasons that I think are convincing for me use, to use the word communism in that specific way, namely that it's the most perceived, per pervasive definition in Marxist, um, in Marxist circles and um, even outside as far as I'm aware. Yeah, okay, I understand that, but I'm just saying that was the debate. So it's that was an the premise I introduced so was about empirical reality versus but, but a purely why would empirical chalkboard approach why to would, And why, my, what I've invited would, you to consider, please, here's a question for you, which is not uh, insulting or not confrontational. Why don't you reflect a little bit on why you wouldn't accept these excuses from any other theology? You wouldn't again? accept a chalkboard hypothetical definition of the Islamic state that would that would make them in no way responsible for the but disasters like, historically that happened. That you wouldn't asking, accept it for any other system. You're, you're, and you know, there's a chalkboard description of capitalism as the, the most the, wonderful. The point system is that you're that, trying uh, to pull this. You're trying to pull this sneaky like empirical card, right? Where, it's a question. Where, just one second. Just I'm one asking second. a question. Why second. not just answer the question? I'm just. That's what I already fucking answered the question a thousand times. I, no, I the question I just put you, you haven't answered. Why oh, okay, do you make this excuse well, well, for one, okay, for okay, one system I, only? Because it bugged others. me. It's it bugged me how you misrepresented that. I'll, I'll get to it, right? But it bugged me how you misrepresented what was happening before. Um, the empirical evidence thing, right? Like all I was saying is, right? Given this definition of communism, that I have reason to hold is the most per pervasive definition of communism, right? It's just going to be an empirical issue, right? whether or not X, Y, Z countries are communist or not. And I invited you, right, to look for countries that you can point to that were stateless, moneyless, and classness, uh, and classness, which is what communism is. So I was in the empirics as well. In fact, it's the onus to present empirics is on your side here, right? So, so is that, that how you feel about any other social system? Is there any other social system that gets your no true Scotsman policy? Because if you were debating capitalism with someone, and someone defended capitalism, but the whole history of capitalism doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is this perfect chalkboard definition. For, for example, I, to, I, I told you to present the Chinese. history that would that would uh, substantiate. No, but that would that would set up a situation where the real history of capitalism is irrelevant. And I've caught you because the reality is you're now an anti-Marxist. Mar what does Karl Marx say about the history of capitalism? What does he say you're supposed to do? He says like you're supposed to learn is, from the concrete the historical is, reality. The, the, point is, the point is that it's very simple, right? To make You're equivocating. You are equivocating right now. What does Karl Marx say about learning from history? What does Karl Marx say about learning from history of capitalism? 
Co fucking what does Karl Marx say about learning from the history of capitalism, concrete history? What's what, what is Karl Marx's approach? Is he is his approach the same as your approach? No, it isn't, is it? Well, yeah, of course it is. I just Karl Marx you, would not I allow you to dismiss you, the, the right, real history you, of capitalism in, for an in abstract order principle. In order to substantiate your claim, right, that I think, right, or that I ought to think that, Ka that Kambodja is communist, you have to show me, right, or like given my definition. Look, what, why are you repeating yourself? You're not answering any of the questions. You're not but dealing what? with any implications you're, of your own claims. You're just, like, you're, you're just like distorting stuff. It's just crap. No, I'm not. No, I'm, I'm completely accepting your argument. I understand your argument. Your argument is anti-empirical, but it's also anti-Marxist. How is it anti and It means you wouldn't be able to ever discuss the history of capitalism or what capitalism is or the reality of what it's Islam is or anything else. Uh, it's literally an, imp an empirical... Well, empirically is, supported. Uh, when it, when Karl exactly Marx talks about feudalism, second. does he, he use your method? No. Why are talking? He needs to shut the fuck up now. Right? I'm talking. Because <laughs> you have so much to say. Just, just, just let him talk. Yeah, of course I have much to say. Right? Um, the point, right, is very simple. That given my definition of, uh, like, I think that communism, my claim is uh, Cambodia is not communist, right? Given what I believe communism to be, given that that, definition is the one that Marx uses, that everyone basically uses, right? All I did was take that that, that definition, see if there were some empirical examples, right, of that definition obtaining, and it didn't. Young, Which everyone's complaining about your sound. I've got you 200%. Just please talk louder, get closer to the mic or something. Just one second. Okay. So if, if that's the excuse you're using, then anyone can say back to you, feudalism has it's never existed. It's not an excuse. Look, they don't, mean, they, don't, don't strong. I've got it's two not more excuse. words. It just, just, and capitalism has never existed. It's the exact same approach. You yeah, say, oh, well, some, there's yeah, the if, someone, if, someone, if someone had a definition of capitalism that was different from an economy that works on private ownership or whatever, right? And if they had some wild criteria, right, given... That they have this wild criteria, it will apply that that's, that country wouldn't be capitalist, right? But the point is, is um, if in that case, right, if someone were to say capitalism is when sheep uh, are like on a table or something, right, that would just like be an absurd fucking definition, right? That no one has a reason to hold at all, right? But given that I told you well, and demonstrated well, to you, right, that the communism, the, the definition of communism that I hold. It's completely tenable and that there's reason to hold it given that everyone else calls it that, right? Then you're just going to have, right, unless you want to be uh, heterodox about this and be some outsider that uses the word differently, right? Young, just then so, you're just going to have to accept that Cambodia just just so everyone, be. Just so he understands, do, do you mind being clear about what you mean when you say that uh, your definition is tenable? I completely understand. The, the, the sense, the sense. Uh, I'm just going to clarify, Tim. The sense in which, you know, there's some reason for you to actually hold that definition, as in it's mo it's how most most people use the word. It's how specialists in the field use the word. In the field, use the well, word. And so on. Is, but does that make it? Wait, hold on, hold on. The field. The claim is that yeah. most specialists in the field would not use the word communism to describe Pol Pot's Cambodia. Would not use the word communism to describe the Soviet Union. Or would not use the word communism to describe describe China. Or no, it's I mean that it's cool. Is it's reductio it's, ad absurdum. Okay? What? It is a reductio ad absurdum. It's completely absurd to claim you've just made the claim that your definition is how most people use the word communism, and that would be using the word communism. Well, to yeah, most people who know who the fuck are, what the fuck are they talking about? Is this Dude, disgusting? I rest my case. You, you're <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Rest, rest land. it to sleep. Yeah, you should you should go you should go and rest too. Dude, it's, let me, it'll, it'll do you some good. Why, it'll, it'll do why it. no, would you no, say no, I'm no, equivocating? No. I've been completely clear and why I, told I don't you. understand I told, you. I understand I told your you. arguments. I, why not why so be you were, a lying piece of shit? Why not just be on the level with people? No, because why before you were equivocating, equivocating. Why I don't understand? You were say, you were saying that what comes to the is fucking sense. Anyway, and there's nothing I misunderstand. I complete I think we mutually understand each other's argument. You said you said before that's what communism was if it was fucking central planning right and shit you know you're just you were just equivocating i guess you can concede to it now right but you know i said command economy and for some reason you couldn't answer that statement you got real uncomfortable with the statement command economy i told you that's not what constitutes not communism comfortable. it's not what constitutes you asked communism. for you asked for examples of specific elements 
the define communism, and I got two out, and you freaked out in response. But to that's both. not an example of communism. So one, I only mentioned the two. definition. One is the definition. One, one, they are. They're absolutely part of the definition of communism. And again, you say you've been to a political science university. I really doubt it. One is the philosophy <laughs> of class war. And I, one I'm is literally the economy. Sure, replacing a free market. Right, I clarified class war like three times now. Yeah, right. And, and you're you claiming that what communism? Yeah, but dude, and you're I'm not impressed, that, dude. I want you to know, saying, I'm not impressed. And you're saying, and you're saying, right? And you're saying that you picked two empirical examples of com of countries that were communist. That's just like obviously question begging, right? The point is that given the definition, no, they're not. not communist. No, it's not. You idiot. Look, the thesis I put forward. This guy is an idiot. You, like, you just, just summarized it. Is that historical reality matters? And you guess what? I'm on the same side as Karl Marx with that. And yeah, and which I cite, I, I cited historical reality right when I gave a historical much more detail. Historical materialism, homie, and and now you're That's an enemy not, of you historical don't, I don't materialism. Know you think, what is historical materialism? You're gonna, you're gonna have to kill yourself because you've gone against what is Karl historical Marx. materialism? You've sinned what is, against your own religion, man. What, what is well? I comply. Com well, I, again, I stated my case empirically, right? For Ewoks. One. You just got destroyed, dude. It's just like, you know, it's it's fine. It happens sometimes. Uh, Young, just so uh, I'll try to see if I can get this going again. Um, would you say that even the, or would you agree that even though everyone might agree on your definition of communism, that doesn't necessarily make it actually possible? Of course not. Uh, well, it's not that 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 makes it possible. I just don't think there's any like. You know, what do you mean? Like, what do you even mean by possible? Like, it's obviously logically possible. It's obviously, obviously physically possible, right? It's, it's just a matter of plausibility, right? Yeah, or if you I, think that there's some chance, you know. We can flip the question. Is there any claim of this kind that would not be a no true Scotsman fallacy? So what kind? So if I say to you, well, can, do you understand? Look, Isaac, you could step in and explain a no true, no true Scotsman fallacy. If somebody says to you, Oh, well, Stalin wasn't a true communist. Mao Zedong wasn't a true communist. Pol Pot was a true Major figures, authors, and leaders of communism. You don't regard any of them as a true communist. This is a no true Scotsman fallacy. Okay? I didn't say that they if, weren't communists, but that he has leaders yes, weren't communists or whatever. That your well, you're just, you're just lying. You're just communist. lying again. You were saying that the societies weren't communists. Not that the people were fucking, like, called themselves communists. You're just an idiot. What are you doing? You think that we're that stupid that we'll fall for, like, this type of rhetoric? Yes. Dude, I think questions. you're much, much more stupid than you think you are. Uh, yes. Yet if I you're asking the question, do I think you're stupid? Yes, I think you're stupid. Let's keep yes. the ad homs to... So you, so thank you for asking that question, whether or not I think you're stupid. How can it not be a no true Scotsman fallacy if someone says... So you're talking to a student who's interested in the history of Islam, and, and they tell you, oh, no, no... Um, Saudi Arabia is not an example of a Muslim country. Um, Indonesia is not an example of a Muslim country. The Islamic State is not. No, no, no. None of these are Islamic societies. Is it, what, do you, what do you mean? What do you study? What do you actually... This is engaging what in... Is this? Look, like, you, I don't think you understand. You, I don't think you understand, right? If someone says the United States, States is not I don't think a you're smart country, enough, right? I don't think you're smart enough to understand that you're in the minority, right, regarding how this word is used, right? That the right. point is I'm just to right. say, Nobody right, else that in the, in the, in the Muslim, in the, in the Muslim case, right. Got it. in the Muslim right. case, Completely right, concede you're saying, your what, idiotic point. What, 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 in the Muslim case, right, what it would why, be why like, not what you're, give up what you're doing, what you're doing, it? you mute him, what are you doing, what you're doing with the, in the Muslim case, right, is merely saying, is this country Muslim? And by Muslim, I mean that it's fucking Jewish or some shit. But some completely offhand exactly. shit, right? That no one understands to be what Muslim means, right? <clears throat> now, the, if that person tells you no or whatever, it's not it's it's not a Muslim country. Then it's not gonna be a fucking no true Scotsman. You're just using a fucking silly definition of the word. Isel, it sounds like you're saying that the real existing examples of countries that called themselves communist is what you go by. Is that correct? Yeah, that is a very major part of what I'm saying. Are you, are you aware that the Soviet Union never claimed to have achieved communism? They would have said explicitly, they did say explicitly, we have not achieved communism. Are you aware? I'm aware of all the propaganda on all sides. I am, I am aware yeah. of all internet traditions. <laughs> Communists, what did they it, seek to that he, they the seek idea to that he's aware of communism? propaganda on all sides is just like very wait 
it just seems like he has drank like the Kool Aid. Yeah, like, it's just all like avoiding life, yeah. avoiding but the so issue. So why, no, why don't it goes why, directly to the heart of did they claim to have achieved communism? Let's Com- let's put forward let's put forward the opposite perspective. If a capitalist said to you that the United States is not a capitalist country because, for example, the government controls the price of milk and you know doesn't allow free trade in oranges. These are examples of socialist style market interventions. Oh no, no, there are so socialist. many market interventions in the United States. Someone said the United socialist. States doesn't have a free market at all. And there are there are libertarians who say this stuff. Yeah, pro- so libertarians do make that argument all the time. This, they say this isn't a true capitalist economy. Would you then say, well, okay, I guess I guess we just can't include the United States in our consideration of what happens when you take the principles of capitalism and put them into practice? But it's just when like it's a me, silly. I don't get bogged down in it's things. It's just like, like a silly thing by meaning. Like it's very silly. The point is that no. Why is it silly? The point is the point is that is to say right this thing that exists that we normally call the U.S. is capitalist, right, or is free market, or isn't free market, right? It's it's whatever whatever fucking word you want to use it. You're real you want to why use is that it, any different from capitalist? saying that these countries that have existed are communist? Yeah, I mean, what, what what it's just what? this is. Look, anyway, this has been the... No, it's not that complicated. Yeah, can I add a point of information here about how Marx defined communism? He said it was two things. He said it's the thing that Jung is focusing on, a stateless class of moneyless society that evens out urban and rural and ends value exchange. And he also said it's the movement of people and attempted worker states towards that hypothetical future society, which has always been a hypothetical future society. Okay. Now, did the Soviet Union seek to achieve communism? Not if they I achieved think it up or not. Until did they seek point. to it? I'm just, yeah, I don't know if they're communists. Point, communists yeah. Did they do they're that or not? They're lying about what Marx says, though. I mean, this uh, is hold- like asking Nazis about what Hitler said. Okay. Marx recognized Louis Auguste Blanqui as a communist. And, and has, he even called them the real communists. Well, I just want to hear uh, Vegan so McDonald's. I know, but even this they're lying about. They're lying at every stage of the argument. Well, just, well, we're we're lying about, just let them answer. We're lying so about. what – did the Soviet right. Union attempt communism? Did they say they attempted it? Vegan McDonald's, yeah. I'm asking you. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Mm. Okay, they so they did attempt it. it. Yeah, of course. And they were sincere in Cambodia. Also, they were sincere. I mean, like, no, I, I don't think that's the case. You think? You see? I think I, I don't think that's the case. Thing. I'm saying something in favor of your side. I no, but it's not the, the case. The of like, I, I so my like, sincere you know question to you about is the history, right? Or if you know any like position that's not just Stalinism, right? Um, then you'd know that most people, in fact, I'd say most communists right now in the world don't believe that, right? They don't believe, right? That, what if I say um, to you that most people who are Muslim don't believe that the Islamic State was Islamic? No. What does that mean? You're, they agree. Are you stupid? <laughs> the, the point is that they agree on the fact, right, that um, Stalinism, for instance, was some deformation of the actual goal that they were trying to achieve. And I don't think you just, that you're uh, that a Stalinist constantly. You think that is, this audience that is, is really stupid enough? They're just that too a stupid to see the way you go off topic. That a Stalinist. How is it hey, rolling I, I off topic? Stupid enough. How is that? Uh, <laughs> how is this? Is that like Look, uh, rolling so off the topic? The debate, the debate here, I mean, legitimately, like this is not even debating the validity of your communist fantasy. It's debating the significance of empirical reality versus fantasy as yeah, but why would you but why would you talk about that, right? Given that everything that we said, right, that that I said at least, that demanded empirical evidence, right? I listen to or, this. or 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 reference to or reference to reference to empirics um, was met with reference to you know what what necessitated empirics was met with empirics, right? So I don't know what you're you're trying to do here. Trying to like convince people that you're uh, well, that you just want to talk about empirics versus theory for no fucking reason. How right? about this? Would it be fair to say we can try to constrain the, the conversation to theory or empirics, and then maybe that'll we can move from there? So, like, which one would you guys rather do? Uh, look, from my perspective, I, I the wouldn't talk I don't, because they've no, already I mean, conceded the point. I mean, it's like, like very obvious to everyone. No, it's obvi- obvious to everyone I mean, that is like look, sane-minded point, that look, gonna, this guy got shot on. Let me describe really your side in a flattering way. I don't think they even make their own case for it. In, from a flattering – to flatter the other side, what they're saying is that the, the theory of communism remains valid, remains meaningful and important, and that it isn't damaged by the historical examples of what happened when people put that theory into practice. Now, I can accept that 
I mean, I understand your. Well, we've given arguments for that. Well, right? Let me just say, I've I've never. Where are the arguments on your side? Well, you have kept saying that I don't understand you or that I'm equivocating. It's not no, true. you just I'm not equivocating, and it, there's nothing you, I don't understand there. But it, as a the whole point discussion, out, the same way that when you're talking about gun control or any other the whole policy, discussion was the I would whole discussion. emphasize empirical historical reality. That was that was well, but <laughs> the point is that you have to, um, you know like search for empirical evidence, right, when it's relevant to the beliefs that the person actually holds, right? If what you're trying to do, right, is say something like, you know, I want to look at the empirical ev evidence of the Soviet Union under Stalin or something, and then say that that's uh, relevant to my belief that socialism is good. So yet, there's a question, yet, a question from Mike the yet It's the obviously answer. not going to be relevant or critique, right, given that we think that Stalinism is an entirely different phenomenon that is not entailed by socialism or by vanguardism or Leninism. So there's, there's a question all, from right? Mike, Mike the Vegan in the audience here. It's Mike simply stupid. asks, Mike simply asks, do you deny any past failure of communism? Now, I believe, correct me wrong, but I believe your position, your position is not that you deny there were failures of communism. I heard what you said earlier. Your position is mm -hmm. that you feel that those failures are not relevant to the utopian chalkboard abstract definition of communism that you have in your own mind okay no, got, got to, wait, wait, wait one sec gotta say one thing just for clarity's sake mike is asking that just to brin in in chat he's not asking that at young but you know just just to be fair okay, it seemed like a general question but no, i no, actually do enough, think young should respond to that yeah that, that's reasonable question. um what was just said quick please Go i ahead. just so, like i'm drifting so it, okay he first said do you deny that there are historical disasters caused by communism, the bad things happen from communism. And I was suggesting it's not that you deny there have been bad things in the history of communism. It's just that you deny the connection between those things and communism in principle, your abstract definition of communism. Well, the first part, with the, ver the first, first horn there, I think that they're, well, yeah, we're projects by self-proclaimed communists and people who I genuinely think were communists at one point or another that okay. failed miserably. Yeah, so I, I agree with that. But the point is not to say that it's merely theoretically theoretically sound, right? We think that it's actually, I think at least that is that it's um, at least, well, that there's at least the, in a, in a uh, well, that, you know, capitalism is not going to be an option anymore, right? Um, and that the most likely option that humanity will, you know, uh, Walk, walk towards is socialism, right? And that it's very unlikely that these things that we call, that we call like different political phenomena like Stalinism will actually repeat themselves in the future. So that's my position. I think it's actually likely to so for socialism it, to exist and for it to succeed, you know. So it's not just about... Um, yeah, I understand. So look, as I, I'm, there was no point in saying I was equivocating or that I was being dishonest. I understand your position. And, you know, it's possible to have a reasonable conversation with these things. It's possible to recognize the other person's position and see that they disagree with you. My summary of your position was reasonable and wasn't hostile and so on. I, I've known communists all my life. I mean, I understand. Okay. Now, Young, um, would you say that, based on what you just told me, that what I got from that is that although you... Um, you're not solely basing this off of theory. You just believe that a communist system or socialist system will be inevitable and that the likelihood of a situation like the Soviet Union is not likely in the future. And if that's the yeah. case, why isn't it like, no? Well, I told you, well, I told I was, that's what I was talking about before. The point is that we think that the shirt Sorry, we think that the circumstances by which the Soviet Union got Stalinized, I guess, right, were very specific historical contingencies regarding the civil war and how it affected, okay. you know, membership of the party. Basically. I think that's, that's where you and ISIL should is. go next. You you both should discuss. I don't those think. Conditions. The point is that I've been like out. And it's like 8 a.m. and 11. I haven't slept, right? So oh, okay. I think I I'm good. And also, English yeah. is your second language. I sympathize. But, you know, as I say, I think it's a simple point. And I think, you know, I made my point. But Marxism is his first language. Yeah. <laughs> you have a lot of... That was funny. Marxism, that was a good joke. Sorry. <laughs> that was good. Anyway, I recognize that was a good joke. But look, you know, I just say, I think you know, it's possible to talk about these things in a reasonable way. And you respond with a lot of insults against me and a lot of evasion and a lot of dishonesty. 
Yeah, I mean, to be well, fair, you both think, attacked think, each other with ad homs. Well, I'm just, I'm just going to finish by right by saying that I think it's quite clear that, at least for the bulk of the conversation, what was just like being done was mainly rhetoric, right? And like no real argument except like one inductive inference. So I'm just, you know, like as far as I'm concerned, you know, like it's fine, you know. Okay, but I'm it, just going to go and, you know, I've heard you piece. say repeatedly, I only had one weak inductive inference. You have had no answer to the problem of the no true Scotsman fellas. So, if, even if there's only one point on each side, which I, I don't think I told you, I told you, I gave a retort, I gave a retort, I gave a retort, I gave a retort. But you completely retort. failed on that issue. I give, I gave, I gave you a retort to the no true Scotsman thing, which is recorded, and you you'll hear in the record. I hope that it's recorded. If it's recorded, you'll hear in the recording it, that it's you a went completely weak silent. That that you, you know, went, you that you went completely silent. You went completely silent and didn't respond to it, and like literally sw- switched the topic, right? Because it was clear that it wasn't equivocation. Uh, sorry, it wasn't a Notre Scotsman. All right, I'm just, I'm just gonna say bye and just uh, okay. sleep, thank sleep you guys tight. for the pl- for the platform and thank you for letting me shit on this guy. Good night. Take care, young. Good night, young. Good night. It's so sad to see the young people on drugs. So sad. The fuck? Uh, now, for it's everyone, listening, drug. was I being a little overbearing with my moderation? No. No, that was great. You should have done more of that. That was great. I don't even know who you are. What's your name, man? My name that is Praise. Good. Well, on the server, anyway. Yeah, okay, Praise. But anyway, that was the best mo- That was the best moderation I have ever had on any online discussion. Legit. Dude, thank you. I mean, it's huge praise. <laughs> I appreciate it. Well, most moderators are really terrible. Thank you. I, I think progress was yeah, uh, slow, yeah, so. but there was some. Like, I you know, it sounds like yeah. your definition of communism is command economy and um, class warfare, something like that. Yeah. Well, I, I'm more open minded than that. As I say, my argument was just about the importance of empirical historical reality as such. But, I, you know, I do think he, he also, I mean, toward the end, he was saying, look, you can define communism one way or another. Like, there's some, there's some wiggle room, some leeway, as long as you come to a reasonable working definition. I mean, by, by the same token, you know, if you want to have a def, if you want to have a discussion where you just define communism economically, but communism as an economic system, that can be legitimate. If you, but in other instances, there are other elements that are going to be more important. Uh, but no, it's, it's just a, an historical reality approach. So just, just to give a much less, you know, um, I don't know, a much less offensive example or something, I would say the same thing about Buddhism. Like I would never accept, and by the way, I was a scholar of Buddhism for about 10 years. I would never accept someone who gave a utopian definition of Buddhism and then said, well, a Buddhist society has never existed or something. But you know, you, did you hear what I was trying to say about, like, if it's the case of alcohol and prohibition, we can come up yes. with a definition of prohibition where it's like you create strictures against the use of alcohol. And then we can right. go back and find the induction of here's what happens every time that we've seen in the past. But without that definition, we're not going to know if some future proposal that we label blah, blah, blah instead of prohibition, actually meets the definition. So if I come up with a set of proposals for gizmoism, and then it's like, well, that could never work because that's communism. And I go, well, I didn't label it that. What are the essential features of communism that make gizmoism the same as communism? Sure. I just think, I just think you're, you weren't, weren't being reasonable. And I mean, I, I guess you were just offended by it. But I mean, that's also true with Islam. You have to have a definition of Islam ultimately – the, there are religions that are similar to Islam, but are not Islam. So sure, okay. that kind of thing can come and up. And I would accept the criticism support. that, you know, that may be really complicated doing that with Islam. It's not. It's much less complicated doing it. I think I just did it with prohibition of right. alcohol. Right. But I think we can approach by degrees here. Like, what would the purpose of the command economy and the class warfare be? Would it be that those seem to be like the simple solutions maybe suggested or hinted at by capital when you consider that communism is defined by Marx as the movement towards this hypothetical future stateless society, even if it does involve worker states, that would be like a movement of communism. And then we could say, well, it often includes those. Does that make sense? Sure, of course. So there's there's gonna be that kind of diversity. And that's again, right from the beginning, I was saying that, like I said, look, Iran is different from Afghanistan, is different from Saudi Arabia. Like there are, these are very different places culturally and politically. But I mean, likewise, even if you were trying to talk about an economic definition, um, most, again, this is in textbooks, most definitions of an Islamic state is that an Islamic state would make banking illegal in the sense of banks charging interest, banks charging usury, right? 
So, I mean, but in some discussions about Islam, you would use that definition and say, okay, in order to count as an Islamic state, you have to make banking and usury illegal. But in some other context, like we're talking about a country like the Philippines and Indonesia and Thailand, where Islam is, is more liberal, then you'd say, okay, well, we're, we're going to talk about Islam here, but it's not Islam defined in this way. Sure. It's, you know, and so likewise with communism, you know, sometimes you're going to have to have reasonable uh, compromises or kludges or define, you know, sure, of course. Sorry, I was just letting my...